Hey guys, welcome back to 10 Minute Maths. Right, so this week we're carrying on with number bonds to 10. And last week we used a tens frame, but this week we're going to make all those number bonds using the part whole method. Right, so we're going to be using those special words again. I bet you can guess what they are. We're going to use add, equals, and all together. Right, so to join in today, you're going to need a part whole frame. You're going to need 10 objects, which again can be absolutely anything. Stones, toys, whatever you can find. And then you're going to need a dice. At the end, for your greater depth challenge, you're going to need a part whole frame, but not just two parts. It's going to have three parts. Mm. Right, here we go with our number bonds to 10. So let's have a quick recap using a tens frame to make number bonds to 10. So I'm going to put seven counters into the frame. So we've got five, six, seven. Right, how many more do I need to add to make 10? So remember, the tens frame has to be full. So look at those empty spaces. How many more do we need to add to make 10? Right, let's check. We've got one, two, three. So we added three more. Excellent. Let's have another go. So I'm going to put five into the tens frame. How many more do we need to add to five to make ten? Yeah, excellent. You can see that. It's five because that's half of a tens frame. Good job if you spotted that pattern. Right, let's do one more. So I'm going to put nine into the tens frame. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many more do I need to add to nine to make ten? Easy. Yeah, one. Good job. Right, Betty and Barney went to the sweet shop and they've bought a bag of ten sweets. But Betty would like the stripy ones and Barney would like the spotty ones, but they're all muddled up. So can you help sort them out? Oh, great. Right, let's count the stripy ones to Betty first. Here we go. So we've got one, two, three, four. So Barney would like the spotty ones. Let's count those to him. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. That's really good. Do you know what we did there was just like using the part whole method. I'm going to show you. So here we go. We started with 10 sweets, didn't we? So we're going to put those in the hole and you can see those at the top. Then what we're going to do, we're going to sort these out into the parts. So let's start with Betty. See, here we go. One, two, three, four. So Betty has got four sweets. Now let's put Barney's there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So Barney has got six. Excellent. That's great because we're already starting to make number bonds to 10 using the part whole method. So we've got four and six that makes 10. Excellent. Right, let's have a go at making some more number bonds to 10. All right, so we're gonna use our part whole method. So let's start with 10 counters in the whole. Let's count them in. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. Right, our answer is always going to equal 10. So don't forget that. Right, I'm going to roll the dice now to see how many counters we're going to put in our first part. So here we go. How many? Yes, yeah, three. So let's put three counters in the first part. We've got one, two, three. Right, so all of the remaining counters in the hole, we've got to put all of them into the other part. So here we go, let's count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so we've just made our first number bond to 10 using the part whole method. It's three add seven equals 10. Let's have another go. Here we go. So roll the dice. How many do we need? Yes, yeah, six. Well done. So I'm going to put six in my first part. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Right, what do I need to do with the other ones? Yeah, we need to put all of them in the other part. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So we've got six in the first part and four in the other one. What would our number sentence be? Yeah, it's six add four equals 10. So don't forget the answer will always be 10 as that's what we started with. We've started with 10. Right, here's your challenge. So you ready? Starting with 10 in the hole, how many ways can you make 10 using the part hole method? So remember you've got to break the hole into the two parts. See if you can find all the ways to make 10. Then once you've done that, here's your greater depth challenge. So, start with 10 again. But how many ways can you make 10 when you break the hole into three parts? Right, I'm going to give you a little demonstration now just to show you what to do. So, I've got my 10 counters in the top. But you can see there's not just two parts this time. There are three parts underneath. They're all connected to the hole. So, I'm going to put two in the first part. Then I'm going to put two in the middle part. And then all of the other ones I'm going to put in the final part. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've just made a number bond to ten when I break the hole into three parts. So our number sentence would say two add 2 add 6 equals 10. So we're thinking a little bit more now, aren't we? Have a good go at that one. Right, so see if you can find all of those number bonds to 10 using the part whole method, but also using the part whole with three parts. Wow, that is tricky. I'd love to see how you get on with that one. Right, that's all we've got time for, guys, but make sure you like, make sure you share, Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.